Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another informative edu educational doctor game. As you guys can see, and I know a lot of you have been enjoying my last couple of doctor games, so I wanted to come over and get a few more going for you. Now, that wasn't me that set off the crows. I'm too far away, and I'm not going to use my static blast just yet. Everything over here is sealed. That's fine. So we are going to go up here around to the... Oh, we'll go through, actually. We'll static blast and check on that, Jen. Somebody going through the chest. I don't know if the chest is... I know there's a chest downstairs in the bottom right-hand corner. I just didn't think I'd be able to hear it through the wall this well. You're kidding me. I don't know what the chest is then. It was upstairs. I'm going to go for this guy outside because he's out of position. Somebody above me too. Hopefully take a free hit over here. Scratches leading. Heavy to the right. David King. We'll take 1M1 and we'll let him go. We do have good corrupt intervention here too. Just keep cutting him off here. Is the obsession... He shouldn't be able to make anything. Yep, just not even going to bother. It's a really bad play for him. If he makes poor pathing to the middle of the map, I'll take him down. That'll get Surge up there too. I will take that for sure, dude. Don't know what he's thinking, but I also know I have Thrilling Tremor on that close generator. And I'm going to take him and hook him up top if I can. Oh, they're not even on it. I'm going to get a hit on Quinton if he doesn't make good movement here. I know that other girl is floating around somewhere too. Quentin appears to have ran around the corner. She should be getting saved any second now by the other girl, which is good. Enter chase with Quentin, which is nice. He won't be able to make that jump again if I time my shot. <laughs> Remember, when you get shocked, you're in animation lock. So jumping in the locker shocked him as he got in, so he couldn't vault out of the locker. Therefore, I got a free grab on him. Nobody waiting at the pallet. They're back on this as well. I'm going to get my pop on it. I am going to overlap on my pop, which is fine. I don't know what David's trying to do with his flashlight. Another free hit. That guy gets saved. Get my pop goes the weasel. David's really looking for these flashlight saves. Aren't you, Mr. King? Oh, I stuffed that up a little bit. I think he might have an archive to go for a flashlight blind. He didn't get it either. I am going to get Surge from downing him too, depending on his movement. Dead hard. Nice. That's going to be into Surge on the generator. Good, we got another injured player. Let's go straight for her. She's out of position. Gonna have to make a really good dead hard for the pallet, Bubby. No dead hard. No worries, we'll leave her downed. This seems to be a game where my survivors are gonna be throwing the trial. Thinking this other one would have went up for Mr. King. I don't hear her. I saw her scratches. She did go up for the King. We're gonna take an M1 on her back. Nice little M1. And we're gonna let her go. Unless she makes a real bad play. I'm gonna punish her for that. Straight through the window. Negative. Shock into the vault. Unfortunately, I missed the shock. If I landed that shock, I would have had her in the bag as well. I knew the play. I knew what I needed to do. Unfortunately, I just made a tiny bit of a boo-boo with my angling. And the good news is I've got you right underneath there. I'm going to sidestep, get a little quick cheeky hit on her. That's going to get surge on that. I'm going to static blast to get anyone off any neighboring generator. I don't think anyone's on it. And that's going to allow me to seal it through Thrilling Tremor. Yep, they can heal up there. These guys are being way too altruistic, and I'm going to be able to punish them pretty easily. It feels like one of those games where it doesn't really matter what killer I'm going to play. When survivors are out in the open like this, I know the king's nearby. I see your scratches, and they appear to have stopped, so you're going to be playing the corner, are you? Oh, you actually dropped. You're outside. I can hear you. Nice. Well played. All right. Let's cut right back through the center of the map. Static Blast will be coming back soon. Negative on that. I don't have to protect all of these gens too. Is this going really well for me, checking on these? Yeah, a lot of gens that have been regressed. A lot of gens that haven't been started. I'm pretty sure they're group stack healing somewhere. Once Static Blast is up, that's going to tell me where I need to go. Alright, so we can either go for the farm, or we can just take the hit on the other one. I'm going to try and take a hit, a hit on the other one. Let's see what she decides to do. I do have pop if I need it, but I don't, so that is okay. Oh, doorway's on the other side. That's pretty good alignment for her, too. Other two guys are going to be stacking on that, I'm assuming, because they were group healing. She can make the shack window. No, she cannot, because she's taking bad pathing. Going to have to be a good body block, Mr. King. Get the pallet, too. Oh, unlucky. Remember, I do have surge here. Mr. King took really bad pathing. You know what? I'll punish Quinn. Oh... I'll take my Surge, actually. He keep running? He just kept running to the corner of the map. That works for me. I don't need to pick him up. I know he's got Dead Hard. Show it to me. 
There's his dead heart. There's my surge regression. And now we're gonna do static blast to seal that generator. Remember, when they scream and they're in animation, I can seal generators by doing that. Checking the gen up top, not on the generator up top. I'm gonna hook him here and gonna cut right through the center of the board and go for that other person who is uncontested right now. I don't know how long they've been on that gen, but I know I got Pop Goes the Weasel. This is why Surge and Pop work really well. Two people on two different gens down here, meaning one person's MIA. Gotta run past the first one and get to the one in the corner. Two people, they're healed. Gonna just ignore it and go straight in for this gamer. That was really good movement, dude. I didn't even hear her, even though she doesn't have Iron Will. Didn't even hear her. Tried to hide my light one way. She just ran and hoped, and it worked for her. Very rarely does that kind of play actually pay off. But apparently it does right now. Oh my god, she's disappeared again. I'm gonna run back and tap it. Give me Surge. That's fine. Remember, if I down her, I get Surge on the generator too. So it'll just get more regression. Medium Vault, darling. Dead hard. Go for it. No? And now I get Surge on that. I don't even have to worry about going over there and regressing it. Showing you the true power of Surge. She technically allowed me to regress that generator even more than I was going to get on it. Now I'm going to check on this generator in the middle of the map. No nearby hook. Really hurting me for the hook location that David decided to let go on that hook. Not going to get information through Thrill unless I drop her. But time management. I could take a static blast. I'm going to check on this gen. If it's got somebody on it. Oh, yeah, two people on it. I'm going to shock to get them off the gen. Take a free hit. Other guy's gone for the save. No worries. I'll take pop. Now if I make this guy scream... He can't save during a scream animation, so it might give me that little bit of a window I needed. I mistimed it, unfortunately. I couldn't see, so keep that in mind too. Round and under. Round and through. Back through the window. Nice. Getting them one on him. Other girl will be back on that generator. I'm gonna cut in for her. See if I can get the pressure on her. Remember, I did get pop on it though, which would have helped. There she is. She's greeting for it. And down she goes. And that's going to be my pop goes with my surge on both of these generators now too. All that time management and letting go of certain chases. Knowing that this chase doesn't favor me right now. So I'm not going to commit to it. If I, I've got a good window to get her through the board. If I could make her to the corner, I would have put her in the corner. Because of Thrilling Tremor telling me that I'm okay everywhere. So that's a common mistake. See that scratch fading there? I didn't, I didn't actually see anyone in front of me, but apparently somebody was in front of me then. So that's a bit interesting. Alright, I'm going to hit the closest one. Doesn't really matter which one it is. I know there's a pallet here to the left. I can easily get a shock on this though. Medium vault from that angle, cutie. Nice surge regression as well. I'm going to slug her. Because I don't want to lose this. And I see you tapping it and running through. This is one of the few circumstances where I'll use pop. Allowing me to get massive regression yet again on these jennies. Do you see how surge and pop can work hand in hand together? Did he rotate away or was that Iron Will? He actually rotated away. Well done. I think he rotated away with Iron Will. Still going here. Uh, I'm going to static blast just to stop him. <laughs> Alright, that means the other guy's not on that gen, so he's probably healing up this other dude. I'm gonna go up for this dude. I got a bit of a window. That was such a bad play, dude. Very loud when you fall. I, he's looking at me a lot. I'm expecting dead hard. No dead hard. Just one of the poor decisions, unfortunately, made by Quentin. What are you looking at? Thrilling Tremor. These guys are in a really awkward situation. No gens currently being worked on. These guys are having, having a bit of trouble. It just goes to show you how good Surge and Pop can be together. Works out really well when I get massive regression on gens like that. Holding the center of the board. They decided they wanted to group stack and heal. Now I have pop again for anyone trying to be a hero. I see you. So what are we going to do? We're going to apply split pressure by M1-ing her. Letting the other guy come in for a play. Make it look like I'm cutting her off and then sidestep at the last second. Okay, there's my M1. Now the difference between pop and surge is you can see by large red sparks to small. There's another window for her. Ooh, nearly there, darling. Alright. She doesn't have a pretty good vault here. She's got the side window, but that's it. She's got the other side window because I took bad pathing, but that's okay. 
Shock it at an awkward angle. There you go. Got her down with it too. Got to lose out of my my pop. She's got the pallet to her right. I knew she won't be able to bolt it back in time. I knew exactly where the pallet was. So what did I do? I shocked for the pallet, knowing she'd be able to drop it. Sidestep straight away. Took walked right past it. We can see scratches over here to the right, so that's exactly where we're going. Not scratches, but the generator isn't sealed through Thrilling Tremor. So let's come over here and force whoever's on this generator off this generator. I could Static Blast. If they're stacking, I'm going to shock them, and then I'm going to walk over and I'm going to regress the gen. Scratches to my right. Alright, she died on hook. Guessing that's Quentin gone to the right-hand side. Oh, you left that way too early, beautiful. Hide my light, twist at the last second. She does have the God Palette to use. No, she doesn't have the god. She's going to take this window, I think. Good bait. Good bait. It does end there, though. It does end there. I'm going to static blast for Quentin because he's injured. <laughs> he's in the middle of the map. I'm going to let him work on that, gen. I've got time. i got time for this one. Remember, every time I shock, I'm going to reset my bloodlust. So I need to make sure when I shock that I do it at the right time. She's got her side vault here if she takes it, which she didn't. She's got a key in her hand. It's very important that I down her next. I made sure I lunged into it so she wouldn't be able to do anything from it. So I cut her off directly. I know Quentin's going to be back on his generator. So I'm going to let Quentin complete that generator. Down this girl and then go over for Quentin. I have about 25 seconds. Not even 25 seconds. He's too fast. No, she's got the window too. Slow vault. That's good. Quentin will get that gen done in about two seconds from now. She's got to try and play these pallets that are pulled down. <laughs> if she doesn't take it wide enough, we kneecap. Yep. Bad mistake by her. Quentin's on that gen, so let's go end the game while Quentin greeds for the generator. All because I knew he was on it. I knew he'd get thirsty for it, so I'm sacrificing one gen because I know I'm going to win off of it. Survivors are very greedy, chat, and you just got to understand that, and you got to be able to willing to let something go. I saw he was on it. We were counting when he was on it. We knew how much time we had left, and we played to it knowing that we'd get Quentin because he would be too thirsty for the generator. He should have known that I physically looked at him. I saw where he was. Hatch is underneath. She rage quit and dropped the key. And you want to know something, my friend? Based on how this game went, I'm going to give you the hatch. I'm going to give you the hatch. It just goes to show you, Dead by Daylight is all about teamwork and coordination as well. You gotta be very careful. These guys, I don't think, are rank 1, even though I'm a rank 1 killer. But anyways, guys, hopefully you learned something a little bit that game about time management. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you slap that follow button. I do do Educational Survivor and Dead by Daylight killer content five days a week. Hopefully this taught you a little bit about time management. It wasn't one of my better Doctor games. Wasn't too many challenges in it. Didn't get to use shock therapy as much as I wanted to. But maybe you guys learned something from it. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. And I'll see you beautiful people in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.